Trump's talks. We're talking about Tifu Phase Clan contracts and the bullshit drama. Uh, or just, just drama. I don't know. I don't fucking know. It's a little bit bullshit, too. But there's uh, the the community at large is a little bullshit. The, the rest of it is just drama. But we're going to talk about that. We're going to try to cut past it a little bit. But we're, we're definitely going to talk about drama because I'm a human being. And uh, I fucking... Yeah, I, I eat that shit up, okay? I eat that shit up. I'm not gonna lie. I don't even give a fuck about FaZe Clan or... I didn't, I didn't even know who FaZe Banks was before all this shit. And now I'm just, like, in it. And it is fucking fun. So we're gonna talk about some of that, because that is also enjoyable. Um, but we're gonna cut past that and pretty much just talk about why, like, this lawsuit needed to happen, right? And maybe, like, why. Why it needed to happen. Why it probably was best that Tifu did it. And just we're gonna like take all of that we're gonna take all that drama and we're gonna turn it into something productive that's that's the goal here uh, yeah we're just gonna try to like cut past that and talk about like yeah this is drama this is fun this is cool but like let's look at this for a bit and let's let's really talk about why you know what all of this and like what this creates why tifu doing it is important what kind of precedent it sets? what kind of precedent it sets all that stuff all that stuff and and much much more or less because I am I'm not gonna lie I don't write a script for this I I feel like I won't be ranty as fuck <sighs> we're gonna rant we're gonna have fun we're gonna pick on some people we're gonna have fun it's, it's, it's gonna be a good time we're gonna talk about it and we're gonna talk about why esports as a whole probably needed esports content creation gaming as as a living is concerned, just kind of needed this lawsuit. I'm not taking a side. I don't give a fuck about either side. Really don't. Nope. Don't care. Um, like, great. Tifu is a wonderful player in what he does for the scene and what he is in the scene and the fact that he's doing this is actually amazing. And it's for a lot of, like, long-term reasons. So, we're gonna do another cool thing that I've never done uh, before. We're gonna drop this away and we're gonna look at this. As an NBC News article, I was hoping we would get more lawsuit here this is less lawsuit more news so maybe we're gonna put that back because like all this like who made who bullshit like fuck that dude nobody gives a fuck like that is not central to any of this we're gonna talk all right so tifu is all like yo i want to leave phase clan and phase clan is all like yo you got like more time on your contract and you should probably live up to that a little beknownst to us one thing that I did find made by Blitz or the Score Esports, there was a little, little, little tidbit um, that said there was a clause in that contract where if, if at the end of the contract and there was a third party willing to pick up a contract with Tifu, FaZe had the opportunity to match it or better it and Tifu would have to sign with them. That's the big thing here that I really hate. Like, out of all of it, that is, like, the most shitty thing I have ever read in my, well, heard, saw, in my entire life. It was terrible. Understand no, you're gonna shut up, Ninja. I don't even know how you got it in this whole shit. I don't, I don't even know why you're here. I love you, I guess, because you, you also did some cool things for this scene. But this isn't about you doing things for this scene. It's about Tifu doing stuff for this scene. So, we're gonna start with Dear, Dear Tifu uh, by FaZe Banks on his YouTube's channel. Um, because there's a lot of things in here that are just kind of raunchy, and I love it. Like, this editing is fantastic. I want you guys to understand First of all, why the fuck is Ninja here? Banks okay. and Banks have every right That's to be all I want to say. What you guys are about to see right now, Sunday, April 1st, this is the day, like, these, this is, like, this is okay. where Okay, all right. Starts. I'm going to actually, like, why? Why is this such a central part? Nobody gives a fuck. Why? Like, I don't care. You made it. Great. Now you own a human being. No, you don't right, own a human being if you make them. Graphs. Fuck that. Fuck that. That whole notion and why that's even a part of all of this drama is bullshit. Also, <laughs> so many. There. Here, let's, let's rewind this a little bit. Cause like in the first, in this little written out part, like, oh, it's so like, but it's so heavily edited. And this video is in response to the surprise lawsuit filed against Phase Clan by someone who I think that's supposed to be whom I consider to be my family. We're not gonna like get on that one so much. Face the book of voice. I recorded this video almost immediately. After the issue was made public, I had no clue this was coming. I was blindsided. I was and still am an absolute sh Oh wait, what? I feel like this is better now. 
He might have fixed it. Face pans. <laughs> he might have fixed it, because this that was a shitty... Oh, wait, wait. I had... You know, here it is. Here's the fucked up sentence of all time. The most fucked up sentence of all time. I had so much as not a single note in my phone for this. Dude. Like, you you guys will see it. Are, you probably already seen it. There's so much editing, and you, you couldn't fix this to make more sense? Come on, dude! Like, it may- it's- it's correct! It just- fuck- it's fucky, dude. It's a- it's a mouthful. Gotta start with sitting down in the chair, dude. Can't turn the camera on while you're in the chair? Gotta sit down in that chair. Extra dramatic effect. Fucking love that. Definitely not script <laughs> scripted good in even English. <laughs> exactly, dude. What? Plus, like, I love this. Just, like, fuck it, look, look, look just... I turned the camera like watch this chat. I, I can't I can't turn it on and off here Actually, I could, I could but we're not gonna show you. It's so fucking easy. You don't have to sit down. I get it dramatic effect. You're you're a showman All right, let's, let's anyway Wow Wow um, don't... Can we okay like before he even says a word There's a cut <laughs> Wow <laughs> Just, he, 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 they Cut the video before he says a fucking word Did he just like did, did he just like <sighs> fuck Tifu? Like, what, like what did did we have to cut that out? Like, was it so fucking raw that we? Um, anyway. don't even know where to begin with this, dude. I really don't. I'm just kind of spitting this from the heart. I got nothing written down. I woke up. You got about nothing an hour written ago. down. You, but you storm like storm on Twitter. Takeem, tell me. He, he edits this video like he's piecing together a murder, like like a a, a note on the scene of the crime. I'm, I'm so judgmental, yeah, because this is like such a big drama thing, right? And he, like, you want to be real, right? You want to be, like, for, like, f fuck, dude, fuck. This is about me popping the fuck off and just being judgmental and fucking weird. Imagine thinking, I have nothing written down is a good thing. <laughs> but, like, also, like, the way that this video is edited, and this is my main issue with it, right? Like, if you want to do something like this, I want as few edits as possible. But you're, like, copy-pasting a fucking murder weapon out- or murder note out of fucking, like, newspaper clippings. Like, that's what you're doing. Like, sure, it's not edited, but you just basically cherry pick. you just, like, said all the words in the dictionary and just fucking threw them on a piece of paper. <laughs> yes, I'm hopefully I'm prepared. Oh, Chris. <laughs> you gotta get on drum alert right now. I did that. And still, even at the He's whole thing. He's gotta get on drum alert. Blown. He's yeah, got to. A bunch of people hit me up, but I wanted to just give my raw side to the story. I didn't want to be strategic about this. I didn't and if you want think, to. Okay. If you think I'm shitting on this guy, it's because I am. But the, the the unfortunate part is he put out a 20 minute, one minute video, and it's gonna seem like I'm roasting him a lot more than like Tifu. But Tifu's two minute video has so much good shit too. Like, it's, it's just like the. <laughs> This was made for television. That's all I have to say. Like, something that could be so good for this scene, and just like everything that's come from it. Oh my god. Be careful about this. I honestly, at this point, I really don't give a f and it's about time you guys know in detail the truth just say fuck, dude. about it's uh, fine. not only Turner it's and Face just take the relationship, but just uh, take the mine demonetization. Turner First off, I just okay. want to say I don't. First, we're going to cover our relationship. Why? It. We'll, we'll get there, I guess. Why is nothing written down in part making your thoughts coherent bad? Feels like an excuse for in case I fuck up and say something stupid, fuck you, I'm emotional. I don't agree with what him and his team yeah. have done. I think it's complete and utter. Most of it is a complete lie, exaggerated, and it's tactical. Which, you don't use tactics and legal strategy against friends. Cause I against friends. You know what you don't do either? You don't force your friends to be friends with you. Ah! Uh, anyway. Before anything else, before the business shit, before anything like that, before egos, before views, before all that, honestly, I thought we were friends. Tifu, I called we you were my fucking family, friends. I got. No I invited you to my family. I said if you fucking leave my family, I'm gonna give you as much as the, your other family's gonna give you. Like, I'm sorry, I come from a divorced household, so like, I deal with this shit all the time. Like, I deal with someone being like, "Yo, we can match that," and then you will be like, "Love us and only us unconditionally forever." It's fucked up and it's stupid. And that's the only parallel I can draw, okay? It's like the divorce house. <laughs> like, it's a fuck, man. Like, I, I have two loving families, and like, but like, just th this reminds me, like, Tifu's like, or he's like, oh, you don't use tactics. Like, it, it's a business environment. You'd you be a business environment. And then he's pulling, like, fucking divorced parents' mind games on him. Fuck that. Also, make all my friends' <laughs> contracts, I can basically take all their earnings, such as friendship, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, give credits exactly. No heads exactly. up. I got absolutely no warning of this. This is something that could have easily been handled offline. And if this was just about making even more money than you do now, then we could have gotten to that point too, dude. We'll get the we'll get to this later because there's some shitty things on both sides. Like this could have been handled offline. He could have negotiated a much better contract, and the one clause that I don't have a problem with, I don't know if that made it into the the next contracts, and it very well could have, because FaZe, like, after after Banks put out this video, FaZe has been equally as tactical, and the fact that they didn't even cover the, uh, the I'm gonna keep you on my team for as long as I fucking want clause makes me think it's probably in all those contracts. Dude. And... I get it. Like, that's important to you, but him having the option to leave at some point is also important to him, and you gotta recognize that. And if you wanna be friends, you, you gotta recognize you can't force people to... <laughs> this is, like, the worst pause ever, that poor man. Like, I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. I'm sure I'm gonna have a shit ton of hate on this video. I mean, you're massive. I'm, I, I, like I wouldn't call me hating right now, because I don't give a fuck, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, as a video editor, you, you like, hired someone to do this. Like, I just... I just never created a monster in some way. But if that's the price I have to pay, then makes dude sign an insanely exploitive contract. Dude calls out the exploitiveness. Wow. I can't so be exactly. it. I have to tell the truth and I have to get my side. Of the okay, let's break that down too. Like for a second, let's just before we break into that, I feel like that's important too. I just wanted to like dive in and like kind of give background. And this is like where I started. This is gen. This video is genuinely where I started. I had no idea, and I I dove and found out more and got deeper into it as I went, but this is where I started. So, like, this is where I have a lot of my first impressions on the whole fucking issue. FaZe, and Banks in particular, responded to this very emotionally. And it wasn't an emotional thing. It was, I, a lawsuit like this, a lawsuit being like, yo, that contract's fucked up, we should fix that contract. It's a precedent-setting contract, or a precedent-setting lawsuit, right? The lawsuit needs to be there so that not only Tifu, fuck, fuck Tifu, fuck FaZe Clan, so not only that guy, not only this situation, but situations in the future can be improved for everybody. Like, this is precedent setting. This is something that's going to go to a high court that's going to determine contract law for a very long time. And Banks got super emotional. And I, that's got to suck. I can't fault him. For getting emotional right like they they hung out like they spent a year and a fucking half together like that's a long time i'm assuming they lived very close proximity to each other it sounds like they still do like the dudes need to like chill this is precedent setting and i don't fault him for not seeing that dude it's 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 really hard for someone to be like yo dude i like the time we spent but like this whole like business is business thing this business shit is fucked and like he's being like whoa dude we were fr it's like no but like this business shit is fu he's like no dude we were fr like mm. Mm. anyway sorry the story out there i'm not gonna Preci sit around and okay precedent setting that's that's the big thing i want to talk about here right like we're setting a precedent what is this going to do to contracts in the future for people that sign them this is important and we will cover that after the two videos and then we'll maybe get into the the second phase video and we'll talk about it. let people fucking gossip and competitors to my brand come out and talk shit like yeah you guys are fucking snakes you know who snakes. you are i'm honestly just disgusted in the whole situation i'm pretty emo this dudes filed a lawsuit and people are like saying that's the right move fucking snakes emotional right now and half Sorry. of it is definitely just pure raw anger but the other half of it like i'm truly fucking like crushed right now so i'm gonna split this video Again, into two I can't parts him for first they're gonna like be that. the facts really and the can't. claims against my brand and the second one <laughs> the super organic background right like it's very it's very mellow and we got what do we get here like just fucking like i'm truly fucking like crushed right now so i'm gonna split this video into two parts first they're gonna be the facts uh, why <laughs> it's so like offsetting to the eyes anyway the just, again we'll, we could have a whole video one i could make a whole hour rant and just about the personal connection i have with this kid and this how this just editing. makes me feel because i have a very unique position in all this i've done a lot more than most of you guys probably know and yeah. clearly more than tifu's given me credit for or his yeah. dad or his team i feel like it needs to be talked about and i need to get it off my fucking chest or i'm gonna explode
don't explode. Just do it. I think we could almost like, like go past all of this. Yeah. So, so yeah, uh, in the first part, like he talks about like all the shit that. Okay, we'll we'll, we'll get into it. Half the money I win, it's fucking charity money, but <sighs> all like the regular tournament winnings. Yeah. This why why is that blurred out? Why, why is this what's just you can't show his face now? Like, what the fuck? Like I'm seeing what you're seeing. This is blurry as fuck. Plus. There's Fortnite going on in the background, but dude's just chill anyway. Sorry. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Half the money I win. It's fucking charity money. But. We edit the fuck out of everything Banks says, but we let a burp go through in the clip that we added. Fucking really. <laughs> <sighs> all like the the creative decision wins. making. That's yeah. all I want. All right. Get. So yeah, let's get into the facts. So the fact of the matter is, we have earned. A Grand total of get ready for a drum roll, please. T Wa sixty thousand dollars from Tifu. That's how much money we have earned off of his whole entire sixty thousand dollars career. His Twitch, his YouTube, which that are sounds the biggest on the platform. That sounds Twitch ungodly good. And again, I think right here, my biggest problem with this statement, right, is this whole lawsuit isn't about oh my god, Faze manipulated the fuck out of me. It's I have entered into an agreement that allows these people to fuck me sideways. I do not want to get fucked sideways. It is no longer consensual at this point, right? Like, I, I enjoyed getting fucked sideways for a while. It was fun. It was my kink. And I'm just not into that anymore. So stop fucking me sideways. And it's like, okay, okay. But we just, we just want... It, we just want you to say in writing that we can fuck you sideways whenever you want. We won't fuck you sideways, but we wanted a writing that we can. Weird. Actual biggest Twitch streamer in the world. He earns a hell of a lot of money. A lot more money than you guys probably know. His code is yeah. another major streamer. Hell of a lot of money. Earnings, another why, why the fuck is this bastard even suing me? He makes so much money. Streamer revenue. This kid Come is on. banking. Making more money than you guys know. I'm not gonna put that out Yeah, there. don't feel I, sorry for him. He makes so stuff. much but money. But I can tell you that $60,000 of his total amount of money that he's made is probably closer to like 0.1%. And mind you, that $60,000, because where it came from is important. That $60,000 came from two brand deals that we brought import. Turner that we took 20% of. So that is an 80% split to Turner and then the rest of the 20 goes to Face Clan. We have collected zero. Tifu is snake. Everybody is snake. What's that? You don't like fucking predatory contracts? Use a snake. <laughs> I just fucking love that. Should feel sorry for us in Face Clan though. We make basically no money. That's right. We make no money. This guy that's suing us makes a shit ton of money. Uh, so you should feel sorry for us because we basically don't even make money. <laughs> Who the fuck cares about who makes money? That's not what this is about. This isn't about who makes the most money. This isn't a dick showing contest. You're making it a dick showing contest, dude. Stop it of his prize winnings. We have collected zero on YouTube. We have collected zero on Twitch. His subs, his ad revenue, nothing. Great. Literally nothing. So I you know should that's never have, the issue that and... should never be a term in a contract other than saying, you make it, you fucking make it. I don't know how else to say it other than the fact that it's just a bold face, flat out lie. And it was designed and worded to make people hate us. Great. Right. It was worded to make people hate you, but let's look at it. You had that capability. Whether you enacted that cap, you had that capability. If you decided one day you wanted to be a giant dick, you could be a giant dick. Let's say, oh, I don't know, Tifu phases you and pisses you the fuck off. You can now enact all these things. Shut up. Maybe not shut up. Keep talking. I want to. I want to. I want to talk about this. And to put pressure on us to let Turner, Turner said they did. That's contract. why you had to point it out. Oh, that's shitty. But like that's not again like the drama is I could give a fuck less about the drama I don't give a fuck I, I could give a fuck less about the drama the the point is this contract is kind of fucked and Faze's net worth is make fucking five million <laughs> basically poor oppressed working class yeah you know in my shitty four bedroom apartment that I split with three other dudes I also make five million dollars I'm also pretty pathetic um you know you guys should feel bad for me too. That he knowingly signed, that he has gained so much from, that he refuses to negotiate on. It's literally heart wrenching. Like I can feel my. F he refuses to negotiate. It's like he didn't even like that. Either way, I'd enjoy being in phase. I don't know. They seem like the TSM of shooters, <laughs> making tons of money. I, I don't know. We we that's a that's a fun sub discussion. We'll cover we'll cover that later. I like that. I like that. Just like. Because I think that's an important part, too. Like, we're talking about... 
like, wow, this contract is precedent setting. It's shitty. And talking about the precedent, but I, there's also like the size of like, wait, but I'd be willing to take that shitty contract just for this. And like what that means. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that. I like that. I like that point. I like that thread of thought. That's, that's also very important. Package that one up. Keep that in your pocket. I like it. Fucking. I don't even know, man. I don't even fucking, know how to say I don't this know, shit. Man. I'm so torn. Because I love you, dog. Like, I really dog. do. And I know you're watching this video. And I know Jack, your brother. Dude, I love this. This man's dialect. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. I have a tattoo on my neck. So I can talk like I'm a straight G. I like, anyway. He's that's, watching this video. That's just your a dad's probably point. watching this video. He's probably the one in the room who's saying, fuck this kid. But I know you guys love me too. I know you do. You know this yeah. is my fucking life, homie. This brand is my you life. You guys love it's me my... too. If you love me, you can't let me go. Every, everyone knows. That's how the old saying goes. If you love something, never let it go. It's just so fucking manipulative. This guy is every abusive boyfriend ever. It's really bad. It's really bad. My soul. I work Th every day for it. They're both kind of terrible so in their much video So much to this to day other. for it. We'll get into all that in a second, but let's continue on with the facts and the claims. So the That's number right. two let's claim was, it was something along the lines of Turner was forced or like um, encouraged to do stunts. And as a result, this one, we're just going to kind of like let th play through because this has been removed from the lawsuit. Like everything that's being said here is pretty fucking real. So we're we're just gonna pass. It's injured? like it's like, not it's, it's a non factor. Turner, at this point. we all know you're a fucking sicko. You jump off. Yeah, the you're a fucking you're doing that sicko. Far, far, far before you met us, and the first thing you did, <laughs> you were jumping off shit. So when I asked you to jump off shit, why is this such a big deal? <laughs> like it's it's all like. You've done it before, why not now? When you came I to LA, the very first thing you did was you brought us all up to the reservoir and you jumped off of the Hollywood Reservoir. And if anyone was pressuring anybody into doing that, it was you pressuring Tommy, his brother, Gwit into doing it. Adam, if you don't jump, you have to jump with one of us, all right? Yeah, who the fuck? Uh, Wait, what, what the fuck? That's a shitty... <laughs> Trump is a very quotable man. He's a very terrible... Well, I don't know if we'll ever cover, like, Trump in it himself, but that would be fun. Uh, but, like... <laughs> He's very quotable. That was the worst trade deal in the history of trade deal. I can't pause this video without fucking Banks looking like an idiot. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you have to jump, and if you don't jump, you gotta jump with one of us. Like, what? There's no out! You can't out! I tried your hardest, your absolute hardest, to get me to do it. Like, you threw <laughs> money at me to do it. What? And again, I know it's... You threw money at me to do it. I'm just a poor piece of shit that doesn't make any money anyway. You were you were already making bank before you even joined. You can't play this video with it basically like an idiot. <laughs> strategy and it's something put out there to just make us look worse and worse and worse. I mean, and hammer us again all. This in both of their video responses. They both look ridiculous. You don't let people know Terrible. the storm's coming. And I'm those people that he didn't let know it was coming. And you just fucking sucker punch him. You hit him from behind. You Audio catch change. him off guard. Well, you caught me, dude. I'm all, completely off guard. But this is what's real. And look at me. I'm so off guard. I didn't even know how to turn on the camera before I got in my chair. Or while I was in my This is my response to this bullshit. What was the third thing? Oh, Turner was also pressured into drinking underage. Homie, and encouraged to so illegally gamble. You know it. And everybody who was at those parties knows it. We went to a party at your current girlfriend's house before you were 21. And Turner, what happened to that YouTube video? You deleted it because your dad and your people freaked out because somebody shot a BB gun through their fucking cheek. No, don't do it, bro. Uh -huh. Don't do it. Turner, don't uh -huh. fucking do it. Who? Uh Who? -huh. And Steve will do it. Chug the handle of, of alcohol and you were trashed in the video. All of this is fucked. This is like, this is the worst. This is like MTV on steroids. This is terrible. Like, I, I wanted to skip all of this because all of this is just like stupid bullshit that I don't even want. Like, this this does so many bad. Like, this was great. This was a wonderful move by Banks. You want to talk about like things being super tactical? This portion is ridiculously tactical. You just devolved this human being in front of our eyes. Like, I don't give a fuck about Tifu. I don't give a fuck about FaZe. This was my first impression. Off card, by the way. <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck about either of them. So my first impression of Tifu is now this video. How, how the fuck do I feel about this now? Like, how do I feel about this now? You've devolved a human being in front of my eyes. Shut up. You're doing tactics too. It's fine. It's business. Years old Just chill. Time. We're fucking go, going, boys! Crack, baby, express bottle! Let's go, baby! Let's go, Is that go. fucking liquor? That is so much liquor! Was that, that at my house? Did I pressure somebody. you into doing that? Homie, what? Are you f Wait, what? 
So now we have to be at your house for you to pressure some. All right, chat. Just let just let it be known. I can't pressure you to do anything unless you're at my house. Joking me? I just want to throw something out there real quick. Uh, being pressured into drinking when you're not 21. I mean, literally everyone and their mother. Not everyone and their mother. I mean, dude, it's like a thing. You go to college, you drink. Oh no, good guy ninja, PG ninja, drank before he was 21. Anyway, sorry. I just like, why is he even in this video? 18, 19. I don't encourage or think that anyone should drink underage. But like, also, like, if you guys have watched Turner, I, I feel like he's not a goody two shoes. So like me, to me that that's I, that's that's the subtext here. He's not a goody two shoes like I am. He's not PG like. I, I feel like that might. I don't even know. If I don't that even know why he's in this video. Like, from Turner, or in the actual lawsuit. It's not. That's just weird. All it's of no these longer, claims the are way. absolute bullshit. It's simply just not true. Well, those are the facts. Let's move on. Well, those are the facts. Now time for 14 minutes of absolute garbage. Let's go. Our friendship. Where's the heart? Dude, where's the fucking heart? Can we... <laughs> these claims are absolute bullshit. It's simply just not true. Well, those are the facts. Let's move on. Our French, where's the heart? That's all I want. Just a broken heart. I want you guys to understand something very important too. Bays and Banks have every right to be super emotional. What you guys are about to see right now, Sunday, April 1st, this is the day, like these- This, this is, is like, not this why is he has the right to be emotional. Shut Bays. up Look about all of this. I'm gonna just mute this. Part's gonna be the longest part, and it's gonna be the most emotional part for me. And this is where all my fucking emotions for this are coming from. And hopefully, it just paints the idea of why is Banks mad? What the fuck? Why are you acting like you made Tifu? Let me just break this down for you guys. Let me just. Why are you mad? Acting like you made Tifu? Cause I fucking made like. Just shut hear up. me out and just try to feel what I feel right just now. Just feel. It's Don't look at the facts. I just feel, feel for a I second. Feel so crushed. It's not even funny. I've never been done this. I am hurt, so nobody my, else can be life. hurt. A homie that I helped. A homie that I changed their. Whole entire <laughs> life. Let me elaborate. So I met <laughs> Tifu Turner back I never in noticed April. That. I think Keemstar said it was. Again, I don't have numbers in front of me. I don't have a script. Nothing. This is raw from my heart and soul. I met Tifu back in April, a little bit over a year raw ago. Raw from my when fucking heart, him, but you can bet your ass I'm not going to say fuck because I don't want to get demonetized. He was incredibly on YouTube. good at the video game that we were playing, which was Fortnite. Watched his Twitch after that session to see if that was just a fluke. You know, like good game he had. It wasn't. I noticed and was very surprised at the fact that he had about a hundred subs. I think I tweeted out. He was very good at Fortnite. I noticed that. And I noticed his sub count. And I thought, that man doesn't have enough subs. That man doesn't have enough money. Let me make him more money. Unless he makes too much money. Stream during that time. And guys, a year ago, I was in my prime. I was maxed out. I was doing great. I was getting five, six, seven million views a video. You know what I'm saying? I tweeted out his stream, brought him up to whatever. I'm really good at stream. social media. Expressed Serious, uh, interesting I think I should kid. put I that like in here. Flex, we get along, okay. like me and him. We get along on a personal level. We laugh get along together. On a we crack level. jokes. We know it's things about important. each other that nobody else knows. Very personal. Very, very personal that I would never want the world to know about. I know shit on you! <laughs> I mean, he, never he, he says I'd never about. say That's that. That's a connection that we have. That's a, a true, almost family bond. And I would never, Turner, if you're worried about that part of this I would never in my life put that out there. I would never in my but life. But I told everybody, or I'm poor oppressed me only six million. My relationship with you on a because <laughs> clearly that's all it is a business. No, that was so a break. That was definitely a humble break. Viewers brand. and I would watch his stream and I would study how he played and I would watch Ninja and Myth, who were the two definitive one and twos at the time on Twitch. They were the biggest by far. Um, they were looked at as two of the best players on all these power rankings. All these channels were making Ninja was yeah. number one, Ninja was number one, Myth was number two, Myth was number two. And to be honest with you, no offense to my boys, Ninja and Myth, but I just thought Tifu was better. I thought he was a better player. And to be honest, me personally, who gets offended by saying someone else is better at a video game? Anybody? Maybe, maybe some people. I, I enjoyed watching his stream more. Did I put two and two? Panzer, you suck at video games. Does that hurt you? Do I have to say no offense first? Together and I said, well, if this kid's better and I can enjoy watching him, I've consumed so much gaming content at this point, I could throw up. If I can sit there and watch his stream at night before <laughs> I go to bed and back. actually truly I'm enjoy a monster. Him, a lot of other people probably could too. So quickly in my head, I tried to figure out ways to bring him into the team and um, luckily- I saw a giant money-making opportunity and I thought, I gotta make this happen. For me, and I say luckily for me because I was- Stoke. 72 hours had left our pro team, left Cloak, Space Lion, Jailma. He left and everyone was freaking out. Cloak was bummed out. He left them because every time someone leaves this, it's like leaving a fam. I don't know what the team atmosphere is like. Maybe I should have looked into that a little bit more, but like, 
This dude just like gets so personally offended whenever anyone wants to move on to anything else. Everyone was stressed out and I was stoked. I was happy because that's where I saw my end with this kid. That's where I decided to try to work him into the whole phase system. I hit up Cloak and now I looked for these text messages. System, but you can't be tactical. I'm gonna call it a system, but you can't be tactical. Because this was the one piece that I wanted to show you guys. I don't have them. This is from a year ago. I have a new phone. Cloak might still have them, but Cloak or Tifu would never dispute this. This is just the facts. This is true. But I contacted Cloak and I told him, listen, Cloak, you're the captain of the team. I would never normally suggest for you to play with. <laughs> Look, dude, you're the captain of the team and I give you full responsibility. But I have the final say, and this is the guy I want you to play with. Someone, or for you to team with somebody, you're the captain. I Th this, this right here is why, like, this contract is important, right? Because I tried to work him into my system. Just friendship, by the way. <laughs> but, like, this is why this is important, right? Because, like, I'm assuming there was a predetermined agreement that Cloak has all roster decisions. All roster decisions are made through Cloaksy. But... I'm assuming that's not in writing. That's not contractually obligated. So, what's happening here? Banks is taking advantage of the contract that he's setting up to be shitty, because the contracts are shitty, to do shitty things. Such as take that privilege that Cloak has now assumed, Cloaksy has now assumed, is his right and his responsibility to make roster decisions which I think is shitty anyway, but Fortnite esports is a fucking joke. I don't know if we'll ever talk about that, but we'll, we'll, I'm just going to throw that in here. It's not advantage taking drums, it's friendship. <laughs> oh, man. Just like... Th this is why. This is why. You have a very emotionally driven man, which is cool. Like I I'm sure that has benefited him very, very much so to give him the success that he has, and I don't want to take that away from him. But this is the reason you have to have better things in writing. You can't, you can't have things in writing that take away like the good guy act. And as soon as he doesn't want to be the good guy anymore, now you have in writing that you can defend your shitty actions. Why are you making me do this? I trust your judgment. I trust your call. I want you to have the <laughs> roster that you want. But with that yeah. being said, yeah, no, you're right. There's there's a lot of parallels to like shitty boyfriend situations. Please but. play with my homie Tifu. He's really fucking good. Just scrim with him. Give him a chance. And Cloak's response to that was something along the lines of, "I know who he is. We're not interested." This is important. I know who he is. I don't want to do it. I would never ask you to that we'll we'll set this up a little bit because here's the subtext right subtext is listen here's what we have in writing i can make you do this but i would never ask you to do this burner knows how to get he said no kills but he's not good at building we have this person this person this person this, this person is why he said we no. don't want to play with tifu again i pushed him yo just i pushed him you know you have every right and i would never ask you to do something you don't want to do but when you say no, I'm going to ask you to do something you don't want to do. Just play with him. Just please scrim with him. Just give me that much. That's all I ask. And he did. The rest is simply history. They played together and they fucking crushed it. They won scrim after scrim and they were stoked. Yeah, Everyone was like, fuck. This. this is really where Tifu started to really make his name. And people knew who he was, mind you. Listen, people knew who Turner was. There's clips of him and Ninja going at it in H1Z. Please let me put the tip in. Please PUBG, let me do whatever that. Whatever the much. fuck. I'm sorry, guys. I'm fucking flustered, man. Like, I have this kid's name tattooed on my fucking leg. Like, imagine how dumb I feel right now. I regress. Let me continue on the timeline. So what came after that is we flew Tifu out, out here with, along with the rest of the team. These guys didn't have proper setups. I went with Turner, Cloak, Jailma, and Space Lion. I went to Best Buy with them, and with my own money, not- Look, I basically make no money anyway. Okay, I make no money. I only have 6 million views on YouTube, but I took these guys out with my no money, and I bought them all. Not with the FaZe Clan card, not with anything like that, out of my own personal bank account. I paid for all their stuff. Oh I think I spent Breaking this down is so much better than okay, watching this. Like I felt for this guy. Keyboards, whatever really the fuck, did. monitors. I came in so with a cynical view, and I'm, I'm getting so much more out of this. So we proper weekend with these guys. So obviously, Tifu was locked in verbally with us at this point, and we had our... Verbally, and that's basically as good as written down, so... We obviously made him sign the contract. Contract ready. We gave him his contract that weekend, and he knowingly, willingly, was excited, ecstatic to sign this contract in the joint phase clan. So
Dude, I get to play esports professionally. No shit, dude. He's gonna be excited, dude. He gets to play esports professionally. Like, yeah, he's successful, but fuck that. You're giving him an opportunity that he's never had before. That's an exciting time. Am I gonna read through? Someone's like, yo, I'm gonna give you a million dollars right the fuck now. You just gotta sign this piece of paper. You think I'm gonna read into... Okay, I'm kind of a special person. I would probably read into the details of that paper. But, like, in that moment, if I had to sign that in five minutes... You think I'm going to go through all the fine print on that piece of paper that says I gotta give, I'm got i going to get a million dollars? Fuck no. Fuck no. I Like, five minutes? Like, what, what's, the, what's the worst that could be in that? I didn't sign my... Mil- I didn't read my military contract and all the fine print. There's a lot of bullshit in there. Like, it's an exciting time. Like, people giving... People giving you money and a chance is a very exciting thing. Like, you can't... Anyway. So he did. And that contract, that same contract... Did is he the sign it with a lawyer? He's under to this day. A f- did he sign it with a lawyer? Also, wasn't this guy a fucking high schooler at this point? I have no idea. Three year term. I don't know exactly what all the splits look like, but Turner outgrew it very quickly. We've been working on negotiating with him almost the entirety length of the contract. And we have collected almost the entirety length of the contract. I'm gonna call bullshit. They've been doing it since Tifu expressed interest in not re-upping. Did again zero dollars on it and i've told him personally we are never going to collect on your prize money i want to make this stuff right i want you to be happy here i appreciate you being on the team etc 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 what followed a- we're never going to collect prize money but in this piece of paper that you signed it says we can take up to 50 percent after that so what i'm going to put up on the screen right now is a couple of graphs some math some receipts what i'm going to put up here is showing you exactly how i made tfue but i'm not going to take any credit for it right of tfue's growth when he joined phase after he joined phase it was all uphill from there. He skyrocketed and everything that happened after that was perfect. And some things we helped with, some things we didn't. Some things were all him, some things were all me. And listen, I don't want to give you- <laughs> I made this man. I made, the, like he did, he did the hard work, but I can, I can, I can take credit for it too, guys. Ugh. You guys the wrong impression on what I'm I'll never to beat you. Right I just now. need Turner you to sign a piece of paper saying player. I can't if I want. Exactly. He's exactly. the greatest gamer on the planet. I can confidently say that with or without FaZe Clan. That's how I really feel. His personality's great. He's just a stellar all around. He is what you want to be. If you're in this game, you want to be Turner. And I'm taking no credit away from that. He's done so much for me, for my brand. I'm taking no credit from that, but all of it was, half of it was me. That is not what's in question here. I'm not trying to at all say this is one-sided. He's gotten all... But I asked for credit. All the credit in the world for that. He makes so much money, it's not even funny. He has over 10 million subscribers on YouTube. He's the oh, biggest man. Twitch streamer in the world. He's won and he gets cheered on and he has a massive, super dope fan base. I fucking- Since he covered it and it doesn't get covered in a lot of other the other videos, this man is the biggest Twitch streamer. He's super important in the scene. And why Tifu over anyone else? Let's say Stixay, my, my fucking man. CLG bot lane ADC main fucking stick say. Let's say that man says, hey, I don't like my contract very much. I'm going to sue you for it. Who, who the fuck's going to pay attention? Nobody. He's on a failing team that well, we might talk about that in passing. But CLG's kind of, kind of a fucking mess right now. But like, if he did that, like, who's, who's going to pay attention? Nobody. But when the biggest Twitch streamer says, hey, we're going to fucking talk about this. I'm going to sue you for it. People listen. The reason this has made so much news, so much controversy, one is all the drama spreading, which is probably better for this whole shit as a whole. The appropriate person filed filed this lawsuit, hands down, 100%. You now have someone that cared file this lawsuit. You had someone that people care about file this lawsuit. Ever people that care about this scene are talking about this lawsuit. That's important. That's very important to note here. Anyone could have done this. The fact that Tifu did it, and the fact that he is where he is, is very important in this. That's what changes this from some small out-of-court settling to in everybody's fucking face, we're going to do this now and set a fucking precedent. Very, very important that he is the biggest Twitch streamer. He is super successful. That is a, an, an essential core to this entire discussion can love his fans and I love him I really do but that's not what's at question he gets all that credit he has all that credit he's been given all that credit where's my credit but you know who has gotten none of the credit zero and who's never asked for any of the credit me this goes so much further and I'm gonna lay it <laughs> You know who's never asked for credit? Me, until right now. Where's my fucking credit? It all out. I wanted to just clear that part up. I don't want to misrepresent myself. So they fly home around this time. Uh, Coop stars doing the Friday Fortnite stuff. The Fortnite Friday's performance and all that stuff. 
Keemstar posted those, and the only reason that he mm. wa that Tifu got into those is because he was in phase. Keemstar let him in because he was a part. Ninja, of why are you talking? Phase. So he actually would not have even made it into. Ninja, why are you in Banks's video from the raw, from the heart video? I'm just throwing that out there. That was you're the not, biggest you're not thing for Fortnite for the week. This pulled in way more views than everything else. It sparked a lot of careers. It highlighted a lot of people. And Tifu and Cloaksy, the duo, the duo that. I handcrafted, crushed it. They won that I handcrafted. Game, Where's my uh, fucking that, credit? More than anything in Tifu's early career, the I don't the ask for it stuff. though. And if you were around and you're an OG motherfucker and you watched from the beginning, you know that's probably how a lot of his OG <laughs> fans found him was the Friday Fortnite. That's how it, all his real fans found him, is me getting him into Fortnite Fridays. So. And again, he earned it. He won. He won. But doesn't giving someone that opportunity count for anything? Isn't it deserving of at least a little heads up that you're about to try to destroy my fucking brand? <laughs> Nobody's destroying your brand, dude. We're setting a precedent. We're saying, hey, contracts like this aren't okay. That's all we're saying. Nobody's destroying your brand. It sucks. You're, you're, on the, you're on the shit end of this. And you have a right to be emotional. You're on the shit end of this. It needed to happen. I'm sorry it's you, but you have the biggest content creator on your team. You fucking know, dude. Everyone in the cool group knows. Something I've put my entire heart and soul into. Something that my entire life relies on. My family's life relies on. 40 some odd kids that you called friends rely on. Like what? Don't I deserve a little bit more than that? And if I don't, tell me. Like if I don't, tell me. Maybe. You probably don't. Yeah, I don't. Maybe I'm way out of line saying this shit, but I, I don't know about way out of line, but definitely at least a little bit out of line. It doesn't feel like I'm out of line. I feel horrible right now and I don't feel horrible because of something I did. I feel horrible because I feel wronged. Honestly, I want you guys to feel me on this. Like really feel me on this. All right. I want you to really feel me. If anyone else did this, contracts would never change. Ever. Ever. You could continue to write shitty contracts for the end of time. Okay. Feel me. Feel me on this. You could write shitty contracts for all of eternity if this didn't happen to you. Cause it's it's tough, man. Like it's tough. I'm struggling. Don't do with it this legally right though. Just tell it's me without it. Me to my fucking core. <laughs> to my fucking core. Man, everything, dude. Everything. All the scandals you've been a part of with the getting banned on Twitter. I was there for all of it. I helped you figure all of it out by your side, homie. By your side. Everything down to your thumbnails and titles. There's a long, long, long list of a DM chat between me, his thumbnail guy, his editor. Long, long list of a DM chat. And Tifu. Anyway. And in the early stages of Tifu, his thumbnails were trash. Sorry. It's unscripted, sorry. It's unscripted. I'm, 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 I'm hitting life. on I him for the script. every single day and helped him on every single one. Now he knows what he's doing, and that's great. But even, what's a good example? Fuck, off the top of my head. He could have hired somebody. There's literally people that do that for a living. You're not the only guy, sorry. The ninja thumbnail. The classic world famous ninja thumbnail where Tifu's knocking. Literally people who get paid to make thumbnails. Out Ninja. I created that thumbnail and I can prove it. I sat on fucking snap. Let's just rewind a little bit. This does not look. Where is it? Wait. Where is it? Where the fuck is it? We missed you it. How much it doesn't look the same. Chat, that's like here, hold on. Just give me a second here. We're gonna we're we're gonna open paint and I'm gonna make the fucking Mona Lisa for a second. Ready? Paint. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna make the Mona Lisa. Everybody ready, set, go. Whoop. Whoop. And then we got we gotta put a face in there, we're gonna put, put an oval. This is why I needed emote maker. <laughs> just fucking But I don't take credit for making shit that I didn't make. There's a little little smirk. There's there's lips. I got a little lip. And we'll we'll fill that in with some red because they're lips, obviously. Psh, duh. Um, and then um, oh shit, that's in red. We gotta undo that. It's that's, that's super unprofessional. Um, uh. And then. There's her shoulders, and then there's a stream over here, and there's some trees, um, and then there's some more trees, I think. I, I'm not very Mona Lisa adequate, and this is all filled in with black, and this is like green over here. Oh shit. Oh, that's not, look at that, that's not even filled in. Uh, we'll, we can make it green, because we're going to fill it all in anyway. Bam. Chad, I made the Mona Lisa. Those are the same image. <laughs> Literally can't. 
Da Vinci. Yeah, where's my credit? I just drew the Mona Lisa, man. What the fuck? Come on, homie. I made the Mona Lisa. <laughs> Sorry. I just need to I just need to point that out too. I made on that video zero. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You I made nothing, and I basically made that thumbnail. Where's my Where's my royalties for making the Mona Lisa? Basically, I made on the video nothing. You want to know what I have gained from Tifu? Because I oh, this is God. another thing. I collect zero dollars from FaceClan. I collect no salary, so that we can pay for these houses. That's a fun fact that none of you guys fucking know about. My company phase pays for both of our houses. I collect zero dollars. My company phase pays for both of our houses, but I collect zero except from from my company where I make a lot of money, and we sometimes. We said we made $60,000 and some of that went to me. Because of it. And why? Because I love these houses. Because so many people's lives have changed. Since the Nelk boys have gotten here, they've been working their balls off. They've been going up. This changed Rice's life. Alyssa's life. Yeah, they've been working their ass off and they haven't even sued me once. This is fucking amazing. Why can't, why do you have to sue me? Like everybody in the face house is like, and that's what I love more than anything. I love to really take somebody because I was a kid who played video. I love to take somebody and put them in a really nice house and show them how rich I am. And show them how in uh, fucking fucking fortunate they are to be in my house. James, who was lost? I didn't know what I wanted to do. And this logo, Saturday, yes sir, that's how ownership and investment. my fucking life and changed my whole world. <laughs> and I know what it meant to me, and I want to apply that to as many people as possible. People who deserve it. And Tifu, you did deserve it, but I did not deserve this, homie. I did not. Deserve I did not. This. Deserve not even you deserve all little. the credit. I taught you everything I, I knew. I was there for you. You confided in me. You, you told me things your own brother. You confided in me, bro. What does this even have to do with a piece of paper? It doesn't know about. And you know what? Like, I noticed a change in you when you left the house because of Corinna, because of you and Corinna's whatever falling out when you guys originally first met each other. You left LA because of that and you blamed it on us and you made me feel like shit for it. That's the real reason why you left LA. And that's when I noticed, like, that's not cool. Like, I don't deserve that. What the fuck? And here I am today blowing you up. Homie, is this real? Homie, where are you at? Yo, you got five minutes to talk? Dude, I changed your life. You can never, ever ever dispute that and i know you won't you know what turner i know that this oh was not God. aimed at me this whole loss i don't thing, deserve this. i know this wasn't aimed at me but this is me i am phase clan and um, that's another thing i didn't even touch on i'm throwing myself in front of the fire like i'm throwing myself on top of the fire and i know that look at me good guy banks man i'm fucking taking all the heat on this I didn't do anything wrong, but I've taken all the heat. I am the last person that you meant to hurt by this, but you hurt me more than fucking anybody else ever has ever in this whole internet thing. Face Clan has changed so many people's lives and you just spit on it and stomped on it. You took everything you could from it. You sucked it clean of everything you could get out of it. And then you fucking threw it in the trash. You made your own profits and now you decided you could probably make more profits on your own. Fuck you, man. And how dare you? I'll never forgive you for this, homie. Never. And I know, I know, I know. This is gonna be one of those. I love you to death, but I'm never gonna forgive you for this, and I hope we can be friends. Those times where, like, I'm gonna get shit for this. Like, I can only imagine this video is gonna have <laughs> fucking know, hundreds of thousands of dislikes. I'm gonna get unsubbed. I don't give a fuck Does he at have this hundreds point. Of thousands I don't care. Of I'm curious. Oh, it's not even hundreds of thousands, just 47,000 cable. 47,000 K! It's not even hundreds of thousands. People need to hear what I have to say about this. This is raw, this is real, this is how You're I feel. You're my milk out for eternity. All the way down to your fucking vlogs. Deserve. Who edits Tifu's <laughs> vlogs again? Oh, that's right, it's the same motherfucker that's editing this video, t -Wop. The best in the game. And the most handsome. Nah, but jokes aside, I just came here to point out that Banks did indeed ask me to edit for Tifu, and at the time, I was like stressed, I didn't want extra work, so I just told Banks, yo, I don't think it's a great idea, but he insisted that I- <laughs> This, this right here! Everybody, every conversation this man has with another human being is like, I don't think this is a good idea. You really need to fucking do it. Like, fuck this dude. Man, like, sure, he has a right to be emotional, but he doesn't have a right to do this to everyone. And when one person fights back, he doesn't have the right to say, I don't deserve this. Everyone he talks to says no, and he insists. I edit for Tfue and I just felt like at the time he had good intentions for Tfue, he really wanted his vlogs to do well, he really wanted to help <laughs> Tfue expand his brand, so he just, you know, convinced me to edit for him, and I'm really happy I get to work with both of them. Who told you to vlog, Turner? Who told you you needed to start doing- I did the- I did the right thing, like the, uh, the real 
abused person in this relationship and I'm very happy for it. Nah, because if Fortnite were to ever die off, you need to carry on. You need to continue to be this massive success that you are. Who encouraged you to vlog, Turner? Oh yeah, that's right. That was me too. Who went with you? Who told you to do this thing that you probably didn't want to do because you just wanted to play Fortnite? Oh, that's right, me. Because I know what's best for you. To Best Buy, when you got your first ever camera, your G7X. R watching this again, every interaction this man has with another human being, he doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't give a fuck. All these words that say, I would never, and then he does. So many times. Fuck this dude. Who was with you? Who was the only I'm not taking a you? side, oh, but that's fuck right. this dude. That was me too. And I'm, again, not trying to take any credit away from him. Turner, I know you love it. I know you love it. I know you love that everyone sees you as the best. You're the god. You're the go. You are, homie. I will bow to you. I will fucking sit on the knee for you. That's I will bow to you. I will sit on your knee, but don't you dare file a lawsuit. It sounded weird. And as crazy as this is, you probably laughed at that. <laughs> It's crazy, man. I'm interested to see how you'll respond to this. And I doubt you'll respond publicly. When I say respond, I mean to me. Like, I wonder if you really understand what you just did. And I know your team of lawyers and your dad and stuff, I know they convinced you this was a good idea, but I promise you it wasn't. Maybe it is. Maybe it is for your career or what you have in mind for a career. And if you destroy part of Facecan in the process and you knock us down a couple- He's not gonna destroy anything. This is simply going to take a nominal amount of money. <laughs> from a corporation for wrongdoings that this corporation committed. It happens. Take it on the chin, like when Samsung's shit explodes and they pay money to people whose every fucking phone blew up in their pocket. Just take it. Just just take this one. Couple pegs. If that's what your goal was, maybe you will succeed in that. Maybe you won't regret it from that standpoint, but as a human being, I think you will. Because I think you and I both know you've never met a person who went out of their way for you like I did. And this is before the money. This is before the fame. This is before the success. This is before your clout, your fucking bullshit clout. All I this don't take bullshit. Any salary, fucking dude. I just internet. To it's just, you for it's so French. disgusting, man. <laughs> I reached out to you. I fucking extended my hand to you when you were a no one, when you were a nobody. I was awesome and successful and you were nobody and I reached my hand out and now you're somebody and now I'm nobody? What the fuck? Reach your hand, bro. And I believed in you and I put- I'm sorry, homie. Put everything I had into you and all I can say is... I'm sorry. I'm sorry that this didn't work out. I'm sorry, but I'm never gonna let you for- I'm never gonna forgive you for this. No, I don't even know if this is something I should upload. I really don't. All it's gonna do is horrible things for me. I need people to know, from my perspective, how this shit went down. I need them to know. There's a few of you guys out there, a few of you Fortnite guys out there. Dakotas. Ask Dakotas what I used to say about Tifu. He was another one who helped you very, very early on because he saw what I saw in you. You ever pay that forward? You ever fucking cash that check? You ever return the favor on that? Nah. Now it's all about girl. Cat, uh you, you got that backwards, but anyway. Girls who met you after the fact, and people who met you after the fact, and lawyers who you fucking pay. You've never paid me a dime in your fucking life, and I've done more for you- <laughs> Where's my money? <laughs> ...than any of these people ever have and ever could. <laughs> I would never take a dime from you, but where's my fucking money? That's all I have to say. I still love you, dog, <laughs> and uh, I wish this wasn't real. Anyway, to my fans, to all of FaZe's fans, to everyone who's tweeting out positive things, who's hitting me up in my DMs oh my from God. other orgs, people from the Fortnite community who are texting me saying, I'm sorry, I know how bad you must feel right now. Because they know. People know. You guys people might know. not know, but they know. I, have I love feelings. you so much. And it's no times this like this when, um, when shit hits the fan. You see who the fucking snakes uh, are. You see happen. who the real genuine people are. It needed if to happen. there's any silver lining in this, it's that. So for that, I appreciate it. Everything that happens in life happens for a reason. Not to get all cliche and fucking corny on you guys, but that's just what I have to tell myself right now to keep myself from fucking wanting to just curl up and die. Yeah, that's about it. That's all I have to say. It's been your boy Bank. I was hurt, so none of this matters. Face Banks. Um, anyway. Where, where, now we get to, now we get to look at the other side, the other weird side of this. Because all of this is weird. All of this is handled so poorly for something that should just be a gen, gen, Oh, excuse me, genuinely good thing for everybody. I, I should get you presented. Exactly, exactly, dude. Where, I, I'd never ask you for a dime, but where's my fucking money? I love how that's that's how this ended. Okay, hold on. We get to, we get to look at this now. I've heard of shouting it from the mountaintops, but this dude literally found a fucking mountaintop. <laughs> like fucking Christ. Also two minutes, so a lot less to pick on, unfortunately. But it, it is what it is. He he did he did a smart thing. He didn't let me turn his video into an hour long of shitting. He he gave me two minutes. There's there's only so much I can do with that. Yo, Very smart what move. What's up, guys? I'm gonna keep this video really short.
and to the point. First, I want to say, uh, <sighs> this is really hard to say, uh, cause I got backlash for it, and I really shouldn't have got back. I, I like, I don't know if that's a fed up, but like, he's he, he's like he's got like the right look, like he wants to cry, but there's no fucking emotion, like he wants to cry. Um, all the stuff about the gambling, the stunts, the drinking. I told my lawyer I did not want that in there, and he will do exactly just that. He will take it out. So that is no worries. That is he's just out of breath from hiking that mountain. Dude, he had to literally shout it from the mountaintops, but he knew he would get more views on the internet. Why Why would you? <laughs> he did both. He covered both the bases. He shouted it from the mountaintops, and he uploaded it to the internet. It's out of my way. What I really want to talk about is the main point. I never wanted to upset anybody. I never wanted to bring that stuff in. I never wanted to get anybody to get emotional because this isn't about that. This is about me and this contract. This contract that I signed when I didn't know any better. I'm an idiot. He probably knew a little bit better. I should have never signed it in the first place. This three-year contract. Don't sign it. Sign shit with a lawyer, please. What is in this contract is so bizarre. It's so fucked. I wish you guys could see this thing because I can't even fathom it. I wish you guys could see this thing, and I can't tell you about it because I'm under an NDA under this contract as well. That's very important to note as well. Fuck that. This contract basically... NDAs are shit. We could talk about NDAs till the end of time on this channel. I would love to talk about NDAs sometime because NDAs are the fucking worst. I fucking hate NDAs. NDAs are so valuable for so many things, but like because... You want to talk about precedent setting. The way that NDAs are used now... They don't protect intellectual property. They were used to protect intellectual property from being spread if somebody knows about it that isn't directly affiliated. NDAs are now used to shut people up. That's not what it's about. It's about protecting shit that you want protected, not your image. Nobody gives a fuck about your image. People should have the right of fucking free speech, and you can't shut that down because you're going to be fucking like negatively impacted. Fuck NDAs. Allows phase at any point in three years to just fucking take all my hard earnings and all my hard work and just strip it over 49 percent over 79 percent these what is in this contract is insane why doesn't he just say 50 and 80 why, why does he have to say over dude just like just, just be real just be real just say 50 percent you didn't have to say over 49 percent make it sound crazy come on shut up and that's not even the worst parts and what i'm trying to do here is is scream from the mountaintops on YouTube just serve justice to the esports community the esports industry He's he he took this role that he has he he understands his place in this so fucking well and he uses it exquisitely but also very shitty anyway kids are getting ripped off they're getting taken advantage of true can we uh, kids are getting ripped off can we talk about something I'm gonna go when the fuck was that we're gonna go on Twitter and we're gonna look at a tweet from Soldier Boy. Because you know that face asshole put 79% in the contract just to say, look at how kind and benevolent I am. I'm not even. No, because it was. It was 80%. Eventually, the, the contract, whether it's real or not, it hasn't been independently verified, did get leaked. Um, there we go. Here it is. If you're that 17, 18 year old kid gamer with a passion and a dream, I'm looking for you. Hit me up. Why can't I be 23, no fucking something about life? Like this, this right here is the precedent that we're trying to stop. From people like Soldier Boy, who makes a rip-off fucking gaming console from starting an esports org, and knowing, knowing damn well that this can be very predatory contractually. And taking advantage of people. Like, again, and, and, and again, like, Tifu knows his place in this, and he's playing it so well, dude. Small violins, the whole fucking nine yards. It's overplayed. I don't know. It, it's a little excessive, but we'll, we'll just we'll keep going. These contracts are not okay, and this needs to never happen again. Bro, and there's tons friendship. of people in contracts this bad, just like me. And I'm the first person to stand up and say, this is fucked, this is not right, this is not cool. This is fucking bullshit. I'm pretty sure people have said this isn't right, this isn't cool, this is fucking bullshit before. You can't trademark that. Act actually, don't fucking trademark that. You probably have enough money to. Please don't do that. If you're 17 year 18 year old, go roll a hot body and big dreams and passion. I'm looking for you. This is fucking bullshit. And oh. if only you guys could see what is in this contract. I can't disclose what is within this contract. Fucking but NDAs. FaZe Clan. 
please release the contract. They haven't. For the public to see. It was leaked. Fuck, let me show the public. Just give me permission to show these people the truth. The truth that is within this contract. The truth that was that was in, within this contract, and I will print millions of copies and spread it from this mountaintop and on the internet because I'm covering all the bases. That's all I really have to say. Show the fucking contract, Fizz. <laughs> release the fucking contract. Everybody, oh. hashtag release the fucking contract. Everybody, hashtag. You don't have to climb a mountain like me. All you gotta do is hashtag. This isn't about truth. This is about friendship, bro. I don't deserve it. Release it. Please. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. So that... That's that's all the drama. And again... Oh, wait. Actually, that's not all the drama because it, it just kept going. He released that and then FaZe Clan, not Banks, and his, his editor that he shackles to his basement or something. I don't know, fucking know. It makes him make videos under against his will. Um. <laughs> oh God. And then there's the, there's one last, one last. This is a video that absolutely no one. At it's only ever an audio, to make by the way. Because it's going to shed some negative light on a guy that we care a lot about, but he's forced this upon us, and we don't want to do this because it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna ruin this friendship. But we don't really care about friendship. <laughs> this isn't the way we would like to publicly conduct our business. If people want these. This isn't the way we would like to publicly conduct our business, so please let us conduct our fucking business like this. These things to be public, publicly. They will. So what we're going to show you right now on the screen is multiple different versions of contracts that... Instead of the contract that he told us to show you, we're going to show you all sorts of new contracts because we recognize that the shit one it was shit. Since September of 2018, we... Right around when he expressed interest in leaving, by the way. So not since the beginning of his contract, since he expressed interest in not being a fucking part of this contract anymore. He have sent directly to Turner or Tifu uh, in hopes to renegotiate his contract. The original contract he signed with us when we brought him into Phase Clan in April of 2018 was done under a legal team um, with some slightly different management in the company. When we brought in new management, it became very evidently clear before any concerns were raised on Tifu's side that we didn't like this contract. And we didn't like this contract. It made us look bad, and we didn't want this getting public, so that way if another person blows up, we can't write contracts like this anymore. So we wanted to cover this up extensively. And we knew how valuable Girl. a healthy relationship with Turner would be to us, so we immediately started making strides to come up with a new version. To we did a good business move. Please clap. Every everybody clap for Face Clan for uh, ever. Everybody clap for FaZe Clan for making a good business decision. Present the Tifu. Unfortunately, that relationship yeah. in terms of communication <sighs> around renegotiation didn't go that well. So we had multiple versions presented to him because it wasn't very clear what his true motive was, right? We didn't know if he wanted more monthly salary. We, we weren't really sure what he wanted so we could do the bare minimum to appease that. We sent him a deal that was going to pay him seven figures a year. We sent him a deal. Seven figures. We were gonna give this man at least a million dollars. Deal that included absolutely no split. It's at all. We had no legal right to take anything from him under every single term in this contract. Anything he made under any clear, any situation, any format, any media, it was all his. We were gonna take zero. Stream graded Bell. We've seen a little miscommunication in terms of community understanding about in-game items and what that might mean and what that applied to. L let us. We never even cared about the in-game items, we just wanted to take everything else. To be very on the record right now, that has nothing to do with supporter creator codes. Uh, in <laughs> fact, we as a company have never even taken- We wrote this contract before supporter creator codes, so please give us credit for that. Taken on our own because we prefer to promote the codes of the creators and you know professionals that we have. So anybody who thinks that has anything to do with dipping into the pockets of supporter- Sorely wrong. I mean, we were so proud of everything that we had accomplished together with him in the past year. His first beginnings were some of the greatest products on the internet that, that we've ever See created. You later, Kiss Angel. Have a good night. Eight years towards having a relationship with a talent as gifted as Tifu. We recognized everything he had done for us. None of this was lost. We are all very aware of the impact that having Tifu in Phase Clan brought us as a brand. It gets tough for us to be able to create a healthy relationship with- 
We knew that, and we knew that when we made them sign a shitty contract. The fans of FaZe Clan, because again, that's truly what we care about here, is protecting the relationship with our- I love how they quoted themselves ahead of the quote. <laughs> again, that's truly what we care about here, is protecting the relationship with our fans. We don't give a fuck about the people that give us those fans. We just want- we just care about the fans. Our fans. Because over the course of the last year- We're protecting our fans, man. And we're gonna hoard them like, like children hoarding fucking Legos. They've also built a relationship with Tifu too. When it became clear <laughs> to us that as- They've built a relationship with Tifu too, and without us, that relationship may never be maintained. Fuck. <laughs> Just all the credit taking. All the credit. We offered him more money. It's not more, even about that. It's like all of it that they do. It's crazy. No splits. It got to a point where we sent him versions that almost included all of these things. And no one is okay with your situation. It's fucked. We need to take over the space. And that's what we want to do. And whatever else. I'm Start getting the promises done. Let's, let's read these here for a sec. Let's see how shitty they are in, uh, in writing for a second. Because that's what... The end of the day that's what all this is about is how how shitty is face clan essentially at writing to when it became okay cool hopefully we're moving forward i want to make sure you're happy bro dude the bros and the homies need to stop i know for a fact and getting you the right contract is the first step i know exactly what's right for you sorry i'm going off script i know exactly what's right for you and we definitely need to get this done because it needs to be done our way or the highway then you can be paid how you want starting getting the promises done and whatever else I'm here to work on, except for your right to leave, because we give a fuck about our fans that you brought us more than you. It's clear to us that as we offered him more money, more you know, fair splits. No one no is splits. okay with your situation. It it's where... fucked up. We need to take over the space, and that's what we want to do. And we're gonna definitely stomp on you and give you as much money in the process to shut you up as possible. We sent him versions that almost included all Everyone of these things. Everyone wants you to and... win. If there is shit fucked up, let me know. Let's work on it right away. I something Not tells me the blurred after that is just like, bro. I just want to be able to leave when I want, and not like when I want, like at the end of my contract. Like, sure, you signed a contract. People have the right to leave after that contract's over. That's very important. Contracts being done are important. We sent him versions that almost included all of those things. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You gotta let me know at some point what's going on. I you know I got your back. Let me know how I can help. Shit is dragging with a lot of G's. That's very important. And crazy things are happening. It's your time to make moves and maximize your shit. It's not time to just waste a round. Let me help you fix ever. Oh my fucking god. Not agreeing to it, he wasn't even responding at a certain point. When it became clear to us that his pure intention was really just to leave. When we realized that he wanted to leave... We told him that in the contract that is perfectly okay and that we were reworking, uh, that he can't and that wasn't okay with us. That's very difficult. I've seen a lot of people online say, oh, why didn't you just let him out? We owe our fans much more of a debt than that because our fans have invested their time and their effort and their care and their love into the relationship that we created with Tifu too. Our fans have invested their time, their effort, their care, and their love into the relationship. This doesn't need two ands. Um, that we created with Tifu too. They can remain they can retain that relationship with both of you. People <clears throat> Alright, here's the deal. Panzer, I can I can't love you anymore because I love my parents. Sorry, dude. Sorry, I can't stream because I love my parents. <laughs> People can split time! People can split resources. It's okay. And for us to just drop him solely because he wanted out. Don't worry that the things he wanted in here are, they almost got included, trust me, but I've invested my time. It, it's, it, I'm sorry, dude. I, I'm sorry. I, my, my parents have invested 18 years of their lives into raising me. And uh, that's the, their love, their time, their resource. I can't stream anymore. You know, even though you've spent over a full fucking year being here almost every fucking day that I'm live. I can't, I can't. FaZe said it. FaZe said I can only love one thing. I don't think anybody can rationally claim that that would have sat well with our fan base or, or frankly the culture of gaming and relationships in general if we were to just drop him. So we made every effort. Okay, that's, that's right, right? 
they wouldn't be doing their deal due diligence if they dropped him. However, if the contract was over and he wanted to leave, you need to let that happen. That's healthy. That's important. That's good for everybody. You need to see that. Signing any renewal contract would immediately void all previous collection rights. This isn't about collection. This is about the ability to leave after a contract is over. Effort to renegotiate. So when people say online, this was... I want to make it very clear that I tried multiple times for multiple months to get out of this contract. No one was blindsided by this. Nobody. Okay. This isn't about healthy. This is friendship, bro. It's homie, Panzer. Get with the times. Wasn't. Actually, no, we're talking to Seabass now. It's, it's definitely bro. Uh, blind side, you guys were aware of this. We were certainly aware we were renegotiating. We were definitely not aware that he planned to sue us. So from here, it's, it's important to understand why people in FaZe Clan are so emotional about this because we were so emotionally invested in what we created with him and we, we never thought it would come to this. So and you can only love one thing. Our fans can only want, love one thing. For him to come out now publicly today, realize his true motives were to create his own organization. Hold on. This is his brother, by the way. This is wants to create his own org, work with the brands he wants, and overall be free to change the face of gaming forever. With that's that's lofty, but it's his brother. And I'm I'm pretty sure this dickhead is skimming off the top because look look at that. Anyway. <laughs> FaZe refused to allow them to do this, to creating his own org is in his best interest, emotions and friends up aside. The corporate corporate side of FaZe wouldn't let that happen. Sure, I had no choice. This was the only option to get out of his contract to make his plans and dreams a reality. He could have also waited two years, but like he, maybe he couldn't. He couldn't have under the terms of the contract. Banks might be upset, but Turner doing this is going to help a lot more people than it hurt. But our emotions. Oh shit! It won't play. It won't play. Okay. Wait, it's muted. Fuck. Fans who care about us to just simply wipe our hands and walk away and allow that to happen, then. I'm sorry, but we can't ration with you. Uh, but we can't ration with you if you think that you can love two more than two things or more than one thing. You can only love one thing, and we know that. People are stupid, and they only know how to commit time and emotions and effort into one thing. And we recognize it, and nobody else does. We can't rationalize with you the fact that you're stupid and can't <laughs> fucking delegate your time appropriately. We did try to ration with Tifu, and it didn't work, and that really sucks. Yes, yeah, Seabass, um, I, I couldn't. Yeah, man, uh, I'm here for the corporate cover-up. I'm the CEO, obviously, duh. Uh, these emotional jackasses have been talking. I'm here to tell you why you shouldn't sue us. I agree more, unfortunately. A point that I want to make is that when Tifu first signed with us, he was under a starter agreement. He wasn't the Tifu that everybody knows now. Uh, and, and the other thing is... He wasn't under a starter agreement if he can't terminate it after his contract's done. It wasn't the first org, org that he's been part of. So he's signed contracts before with other orgs and he knows what it... He's signed contracts with other orgs and he felt very comfortable signing with us because he knew the shitty things that we're allowed to do are an industry standard. And that's why this lawsuit doesn't need to happen because the industry standards are predatory and just fine the way they are. What it means to sign, to sign a contract. Uh, so I just want to walk people through the timeline since it, I was largely negotiating with Tifu's camp. Other people have abused you in the past, so we should get to ab exactly, exactly. While Banks was having some direct conversations with Tifu. So that started, looking back at my emails, it started in September 6th. As early as September 28th of last year, we sent the first revised version of a contract for Tifu. I want to know what all this shit is. I want to know what all this shit is. It can't be good. It's not personal information. They're not hiding personal information. What is this? Uh, we didn't get a great response to it. We didn't get much of a response. We gave him a slightly better deal and he wasn't down for it. Uh, who would have fucking get? Not us. And so what we decided was uh, in the middle of January, I flew down with it's emotions and friendship. and Tifu's direct manager to go sit and have a face-to-face -face with, with him and his dad to see if we can make some progress. It wasn't a great day, we didn't get a lot done, um, but we, we were still plowed on and, and, tried, and tried to make things work. We sent him a new agreement to his lawyer January 24th of this year. We sent another updated thought on April 3rd. Another updated thought? 
<laughs> Wait, so first we went to a full blown contract and now we're just spitballing at a lawyer? <laughs> Did it stick? Oh, probably not shit. Let's. <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. Then again on April 29th. And then the other day, as this developed, we decided we're going to send an amendment to the agreement that gets rid of this 80% clause that everybody's been concerned about, um, even though we have... He almost included the stuff he wanted, though. <laughs> it was this close. It was this close. And then we just started sending ideas that almost were what he wanted. Never collected any more than 20% from him or any other of our of our members yeah i feel like the other thing you know and and because bro we never even collected the amount that we can collect in writing and are legally allowed to do so that makes this all okay as we were having these issues and because we wanted turner to feel <sighs> that we had his back we made the decision to not collect any money under the under the old agreement Nothing from prize pool, nothing from YouTube, nothing from anything except for a couple of brand deals that he accepted that we only took 20% of. And those- All right, if you make a brand deal, you should be allowed to that revenue. Obviously, I don't think anyone cares the fuck about that. You, yes, you're right. The one thing you're right on, you get to fucking exaggerate and spread until the end of time. Congratulations, you're, you're doing the right thing in a very political space now that you've created. I only punched you every other day when I could punch you every day. You should be thankful. <laughs> These deals came from us to him. Oh my God. So it's really unfortunate that we're here at all. Uh, the relationship with Tifu was much more important than the money we gave him so many. Our brand recognition and the money we pulled from him bringing people to our brand was so much more important than the actual money that we would have made out of him. Different options that had little or even some of them had no money going to FaZe Clan. And yet we still couldn't get a deal done. And we come to find um, that the reason why is he never planned on getting a deal done with us. He wanted to start a competing organization. And that's like the Lakers letting LeBron James create a competing NBA team. Okay, yes. But that's also like the Lakers saying, LeBron James, you can't retire. Like, fuck, the, fuck, fuck LeBron James making his own NBA org. Like, sure. Obviously, you wouldn't let that happen. But that's also saying, yo, LeBron, you can't retire and then come back to the league under another team. Uh, so many endemic sports organizations. Uh, look at Brett Favre. Brett Favre retired from the Green Bay Packers. And we didn't want him back. He went to the Jets. He played football elsewhere. Something tells me that if he would retire, he would never be allowed to perform or play games in a public space ever again under this contract. That part is what I think gets me. Like, he can't bow out of this at any point. That's that's the shitty part. Like, fuck the money. Ob obviously, you can make money just by having a big-ass name on your org. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. Okay, no, nobody gives a fuck about the money. Just let the dude go. Sure, you don't want him to make his own org, but you can't stop him in writing. Like, that's life, liberty, and the pursuit of fucking happiness. If his, if his pursuit of fucking happiness is making his own esports org, fuck it, dude. Just fuck it. It's called free market. Get good. They would never let it happen, and we should never let that happen. Fucking goddamn capitalism. Use it, okay? Don't use capitalism to be shitty. Use capitalism the way it was designed, okay? And fucking compete. Our commitment to our fans is that FaZe Clan will Your continue pursuit of happiness ends where my capital space, begins. To be yeah, agents of positive sure. change while the industry develops. Things will change. Things will evolve. We and they're going to evolve from things like this. Don't shit on somebody for the evolution of your space. We want to be at the forefront of that always. We are talent first, we are fan first, and we will... You are fan first and then talent second, and then 
actually your money first, then fan second, and then talent third, and then whatever the fuck else you decide you want, and then, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's friendship and emotions first. Continue to think that way as we help lead the industry in its change. Phase the f You're not leading anybody into change. You're literally shitting on somebody trying to change something. Stop. Fuck up. Phase the fuck up. This is Quit complaining. <laughs> Just all of this is terrible. All of this is so bad. So, I mean, for an eSport org, fan is pretty much fully equal to money. Fuck off. I mean, yeah, I, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Like, fan equals money. Not all of them, but the more you get, the more, like, it just, it's just the way it is. Um, but fuck, dude. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's, that's all the drama. Now we get to talk about the real shit. And the real shit comes in with precedent setting, okay? What should these orgs be allowed to do that they do now? And what shouldn't they be allowed to do that they do now? One. Stymie competition before it happens. Should never be allowed to happen. Hold somebody in a contract that they no longer want to be a part of. Let people leave. Have a leave clause. Let it happen. Okay? If you guys aren't on good... What, what benefit do you bring holding somebody in a contract that doesn't want to be there? You bring no benefit. You don't bring no benefit to the scene. You bring no benefit to anything. You don't benefit. And again, this is a wonderful precedent-setting lawsuit. It's not It's not about money. Nobody gives a fuck about the money. It's about what you're allowed to do and what you shouldn't be allowed to do. That is the core of this, right? At the, at the end of the day, we can bitch and like laugh at the drama and laugh at really like shitty editing, and that's fun and that's cool. But we really need to like look at this, right? Like... This is a company covering their ass so hard to be allowed to do shitty things for as long as they want. This is a wonderful tactical. You want to talk about tactical banks? This is that third video. That third video that we watched. Your second video in response to Tifu again, because apparently we're just fucking YouTubing the fuck out of each other. I, 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 is, you're weaponizing YouTube, but anyway, we're <laughs> YouTubing the fuck out of each other to get something at the end of it and you're both playing it very well one of these is a good thing one of these is maybe not a good thing right you you shouldn't be allowed to just take whatever you want you can't just you can't just take and take and take and take and take and then as soon as somebody wants out ask where the fuck your take is <laughs> like stop it stop it you obviously get fan you can't p also also, FaZe Clan, listen, listen to me. Listen to me and listen to me well. FaZe Clan as an organization. I, as an esports viewer, watcher, fucking lover of esports, I support, hear me out, hear me out. I support three different fucking organizations. I love the fuck out of TSM in PUBG. They are fucking amazing. I love the fuck out of CLG in League of Legends, and I love the fuck out of C9 in fucking CSGO. They're amazing. I am allowed and like to support multiple organizations. You don't have to just, like, hold people in a contract because fans are too stupid to fucking support another organization. Shut up. Dude, we're smarter than that. We're better than that. How's it going? Oh heck, we're still going. Yeah, I don't know. this is important. I, I, I'm done shitting. We're talking now. <laughs> like we're this. This is the takeaway portion. We ain't ever phasing down Jumbo. <laughs> um, but like, I'm allowed to like more than one organization, and you need to see that. Guess what? There's one organization that I'm probably gonna buy merch from. There's one organization because I love. League of Legends esports more than any other esport. Core of this, sure, you can be fan first, but fans can be other fans too. I can like pizza and chicken. I can like Face Clan and something else. Shut up. That's a lot of Face time. We are contractually allowed to let Face down. Fans owns us now. That's what friendship is about. That's what emotions are about, man. All these emotions and all these. <laughs> 
<laughs> all this love, dude. If you're a fan of FaZe, you're not allowed to be a fan of anything else. And uh, they will do everything within their power to make sure that happens. <sighs> dude, guys, this is... This is something else. Like, I like TSM Liquid and G2. Look at that. Listen, look at FaZe. FaZe, look at... There are now two people, me and Sheriff Jobo. We support more than one fucking esports organization. It happens, man. It happens. Do you want it to happen? Fuck no, dude. You want to people to be phased all the way, but fucking Christ, dude. Reality is you can't let... You, you, it doesn't fucking work like that, man. People like more than one thing. It's going to happen. I know you want people to love you unconditional, but people like other things. Be an adult. Be a organization of fucking adults that realize you don't have one fucking teddy bear and you can fucking buy a goddamn teddy bear. That's not the one that you sold them. Okay, we're making a lot of weird fucking connections here, but like the, the core of this whole thing is yeah, you're trying to stymie competition before it happens, and that's not that's not capitalism, man. That's and sure it works under capital. That's wonderful. You're abusing the system as it is instead of the system as it should be, and that fuck fucking props to you. I I don't I don't fucking know. You want me to give you credit? Here here's credit for abusing the fuck out of a broken system. Congratulations. Here's your credit. You are abusing the fuck out of a broken system gloriously unequivocally and wonderfully your you, there's your credit here you go <laughs> there you go phase fucking christ take take all the credit for abusing the fuck out of a broken system you're welcome i i don't fucking know you shouldn't contract like you can I, like i'm all i'm all about because i'm kind of cynical so i'm all about like getting nitty gritty and doing fucking shitty thing like i'm gonna i'm gonna buy that company and then I'm gonna make it my company. Like I'm go, go for it. That's that's part of capital. Go ahead, you can do that. You can't be like, I'm gonna make these set of people that made a product that is super successful. I'm gonna make them so they sign a piece of paper that says they can never sell that product ever. Now, I'm sure that's also happened, but it's shitty, and I don't feel like that's on how it's meant to be. You undercut, buy out, freeze, and force out. But that's not what it's about. It's it, Capitalism should be consumer-driven 100% all the way. Like, 100%. Capitalism should be consumer-driven. And you want to talk about fans first. Guess what? They're your fucking consumer. Consumer-driven capitalism is the best form of capitalism. You don't need to fucking undercut, freeze out, and sell. You need to fucking put out something that someone loves and hope that people love it enough to absorb it and internalize it and get those emotions that you're fucking talking about. Like, just let it happen. I can love two things. I can have an iPhone and a PC. Okay, like, fuck, dude. Like, just just let it happen. Just let it happen. People like, people like things. People like stuff. You put enough stuff, people are going to like it. Sorry, it's just the way it is. You want to you want to talk about how stupid people are and how they can't like more than one thing? Well, guess what? Sometimes they're so stupid that they'll they'll take your thing too into consideration with all their other things. And yeah, you don't want you don't want to create an organization. You want to create a fucking ecosystem, and that's awesome. But fucking let other things into the ecosystem, man. I know sometimes sometimes it kills it. Sometimes you're gonna introduce something to that ecosystem that kills it. But guess what? more times than not it's going to adapt and thrive it's so good um but like that's part of esports dude is being mad at something and liking another thing and sometimes like boom expectation shift i i hate tsm dude i hate tsm but i will support the fuck out of their PUBG team because i think it's fucking hilarious i love it i love the way they play i love fucking break he's awesome like all the dudes on that team are cool as shit they're not fucking stuck up assholes like they are in league of legends dude they're not andy they're not fucking Bjergsen. They're not any of those guys. They're just cool dudes down to earth that just fucking respect the competition. <sighs> takeaways. Take away back. Bring bring it all back to takeaways. People get to leave. 
that needs to be in contract. People get to leave, okay? When people leave, maybe there, maybe you set up a time limit. Maybe six months, for six months after they leave, they can't do anything that directly competes with you. That is fine. That happens. That's real, okay? But it's not so predatory as people can't do their own shit, and you're going to keep them in a contract so they can't do their own shit, okay? So let them break away. Let them make their own shit. You can put a timer on that. Go ahead and put a timer on that. Preferably less than one year, but we'll see what the court mandates. Okay, all right, that's cool. We're, so we're letting people leave. We're letting them move on. Okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. What next? What, what else do we want? We want people to be able to roam and move, and I, 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 I have to be a phase only fan, apparently. So now I'm never going to support phase, because uh, apparently I can never support CLG ever again, and phase doesn't even have a fucking team inside the League of Legends space. No. So I, now I'm never going to be a phase fan, because I have to only be a phase fan. So fuck that. That's out of the window. You, like, this is done. S <laughs> fuck, man. That's another takeaway. People like more than one thing. Just, just give, just give your fan base a little bit more credit. Okay, let people leave, let them do their own shit. You can put that on a timer. That we'll just, we'll sub clause that. There's like one and a half, like two and two and a half, two and a half. Okay, so we got one, and we got two and a half. Okay, you can, you, you can let them do their own shit, but maybe on a timer. Okay, all right. And three, give your fans some fucking respect. Let them like something, <laughs> let them love something, let them fall into something. And if it's you, that's great. And if it's something else and you, that's also great. Love it, dude. Love it. Just respect it. Like, that. Boom. Boom. Drama aside, again, this is a precedent-setting lawsuit. And I hope that when this goes to a court system, the courts recognize those two and a half things. Maybe three. I think the three just needs to be an organization culture thing, but we'll... And that can't be decided by a court. That's fine. But the two things that we need two things that we need to decide from this is one, if they're making the money, they get to keep it. If, 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 if you're making money, you get to keep it, okay? You can keep your brand deals and you can keep the money that you make off of your brand deals. That's fine. And but if they bring brand deals now that they get now they get a little bit more because they're on your team and they brought those brand deals. And maybe they should get 50-50 if they're big enough, because guess what? The fact that they're there probably got you that brand deal. Okay, so let's split those a little bit more evenly. A little bit more fairly, okay? So that's, that's a three takeaways. Now we have three and a half takeaways from the, that we want to see from this lawsuit. Because it's precedent setting. And the precedent we want is people should be allowed to leave. People should be allowed to do their own shit. What was... What was I already forgot the third and I just fucking said it. Um... Leave, do their own shit, and let's split shit a little bit more fairly. Boom. You can keep you can you can keep what's yours, they can keep what theirs, and anything that you do together, or because one's there and one's not, if it wasn't, then it probably wouldn't have it. Let's let, let, let split that. Let's make that a little bit more even. But it's not about the money. I at, at the at the end of the day, I, this isn't really about the money. It's about how much of a stranglehold you can have on somebody's life. And if the if the answer is a hundred percent stranglehold on that person's life, like Tifu can make a fucking billion dollars. Okay, but if he has to stay on your org and play for your team and do what you want a hundred percent of the time, that money doesn't fucking mean anything. Cause he's still doing everything on your schedule and now he just has a fucking billion dollars in the bank. Great. Fucking wonderful. I have all this money that usually gives people freedom. And now I have no freedom, <laughs> like because I'm on a contract. No fuck you, we own you, poor, poor us. Yeah, no. So like, it's precedent setting, and those are the three precedents I want to see set. I want I want people to leave, things to be split more fairly, and you they can do their own shit when they leave, and you can probably put a timer on that because that's that's already kind of a precedent. Let that happen. Those are the three things. Job, are you still here? I had you put something in your pocket. I want I want to throw that under the takeaways. I don't know if I covered it. And just because, okay, like, I would love, if CLG came up to me and asked me to play for their team or just c create content for them, I nobody would want, I'm, I'm now too far gone, um, apparently, because I spoke out against people owning other people. Um, but if someone came up to me and offered me a contract to do things for an org that I love, I would say yes. Okay, and sometimes under less than ideal circumstances. 
So if we set these precedents, the the most important takeaway is there's a lot of people that would say yes. This is a lot of people's dreams and a lot of people can't do it alone. Okay? So guess what? If you want to be that person to give the helping hand, give the helping hand, okay? But like let it be a helping hand, not a fucking I I don't even know what the fuck this is. This this credit hungry fuck knob -ery that you got going on, okay? So like there are a lot of vulnerable people in vulnerable positions that you can take advantage of. All I'm asking, all I'm asking is one, if the precedent can't be set and you still get to continue to do shitty things, let this be a lesson. Do less shitty things. Just just do less shitty things, okay? All right? Because there's a lot of people in a lot of positions that would do a lot of things that would give up a lot of their time and free time. Like, there are pro players that give up so much of their life just to be on a pro team and be able to compete at the highest level. They already sacrifice a lot for you. Let them let them leave that harmful system if it becomes harmful to them. If they're no longer willing to make that sacrifice, don't make them make that sacrifice. People grow up, people grow mature, okay? If that means you have to write a year-long contract, write a year-long at a fucking time. Okay, because at the end of the day, you need to be, you need to adult the fuck up, okay? Let's adult the fuck up, shall we? As a fucking hash, oh, like, oh, I'm sorry, let me pull a teeth here, here. Hashtag fucking, <laughs> just spit all over everything. <laughs> Hashtag adult the fuck up. Let people go. If you love it, let it go. Let it grow. Let it make the scene as a whole better. Because there's probably Tifu fans that aren't FaZe fans. That might be. Right? Maybe maybe this spawns a whole controversy. Like, maybe this whole spawned controversy makes fans that you never... Th adult the fuck up. Boom! Drooling all over himself. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like... At the end of the day, that's... As a, it just... Shit needs to be more fair. All right, people need to be allowed to do what they want. People are, esports is so unique because you have people that are spending a lot of this free time that they have, and they're turning that free time into not so free time, doing what they love, right? And when they grow up and they realize, man, I like this a lot, I love this, but I don't like doing this as a job. Let them leave. Let let them not do it as a job. Let 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 them move and grow on and develop as people. Don't hold them back developmentally because you want to make money that's not that's not right that's not fair and doesn't need to happen and that concludes troms talks one 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 <laughs> but think about the fans that are too stupid to support more than one thing uh, this troms talks episode one we did it as an episode quit bam Hey guys, I just want to say, uh, I forgot to throw it in, um, so I'm throwing it in afterwards. If you made it through that whole thing, you're fucking awesome. Thank you very much uh, for watching. If you liked it, feel free to drop a like, or we're going to do it on stream at twitch.tv slash trombonovowels every Tuesday at 5pm. Uh, covering a little bit of different topics. Not always phase, not always weird shit, but uh, I appreciate you stopping by, honestly. if you, Especially if you got to this. Like, you're the fucking man or woman or wh whatever you prefer to be called you are that the best of it thank you it's fucking awesome you're an amazing person if you liked it feel free to drop a like if you want to see more and you might not be able to catch the twitch streams feel free to drop a subscription again i plan on uploading these uh after they happen on twitch so thank you very much uh if you want to talk about it Feel free to either drop my stream or drop a comment. I would love to talk about it, honestly. It, it's Trom's Talks. Why wouldn't I want to talk about it? I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry I didn't have this in the original, but you're fucking awesome. And, uh...